Namaste everyone. Nowadays, I keep hearing everywhere sciatica pain, sciatica pain, sciatica pain. Why this sciatica pain and why it is happening so much? So actually what is happening because of sedentary lifestyle or because of long office hours, we just keep sitting on the chair. We don't realize that every day we are sitting 8-8 eight, eight hours on the chair. And when we do the prolonged sitting, our spine has 33 vertebrae. Those vertebrae, when we sit, especially in the lumbar area, when we sit for long hours, they come closer to each other and there is a jelly kind of disc inside between two vertebrae and that disc slips down and disc start touching to the surrounded nerves and that nerves gets a pain and you feel that pain sometime up to your thighs, sometime up to your heel and it can be in both the leg or it can be in one of the leg. So this is how the sciatica pain is coming in the legs. So now what is the solution? As we all know, we are doing prolonged sitting. So I would suggest everyone, if you do the prolonged sitting, try to take break in every hour purposely. Just get up from your seat and if you can't go out and walk, just stand up and stretch on your seat only and do some stretches there and then sit down. Or simply if you can't do any stretches, just fold your leg and keep one leg on another leg in this way and try to bend little. I have already posted a video uh, of asana series which you can do while sitting on the chair. But in this video, I am going to tell you the sequence which you can practice every day at home before leaving to the office. It just takes 5 minutes of your time and you can release the sciatica pain slowly slowly by practicing these yoga stretches. So let me show you which one is the first yoga stretch. So first yoga stretch I'm going to show you is Tadasan. So you just keep your leg together or little gap in the leg. You can do this asana with the help of the wall also. What you need to do, you need to interlock your fingers and slowly come on your toes, tip of the toes. And stretch your whole body, look forward, look straight at one point. Initially try to do this asana with the support of the wall. When you feel confident, you can do independently. So hold this by keeping a smile on your face. Keep your breathing normal. You will feel each and every vertebrae which is just uh, coming to closer will come in the original shape if you practice this asana every day. So you can hold up to 30 seconds to 1 minute in this asana and slowly slowly bring your heels down and bring your arms down after every asana you do just do little relaxation like this then we move to our second asana so second asana is also a form of tadasana which is we call it triyak tadasana or triangle tadasana pose so keep your leg little apart probably hip with distance apart then interlock your fingers and stretch your arms like this and slowly lean to the right side look forward close your eyes keep your breathing normal minimum you hold in this position for 10 seconds maximum you can hold up to 30 seconds keep breathing normally then slowly come back to the center relax take two deep breath and then you go to the left side and hold this position again with the smile keep breathing do not hold your breath hold for 10 to 15 seconds minimum 10 seconds is necessary up to 30 seconds you can hold slowly come back to the center take one deep breath and exhale slowly release your arms relax your leg and relax your arm in Sheetali Tadasana this is also very important asana, Sheetali Tadasana, where we cool down by keeping our body straight. After cooling down, I'm going to give you one more stretch for your lumbar spine. So you need to face forward, keep your leg apart or join whatever way you feel comfortable. Then slowly keep your palms on your knees, you can bend your knees and try to make your back straight by looking up. Now if you see my back is completely straight and I feel beautiful stretch on my lumbar or lower back. Close your eyes and take some deep breath as if the breath you can feel in the spine. Try to breathe through your stretch. Keep breathing. 
you will feel a very nice stretch at the lumbar spine this is also you hold 10 to 15 seconds or up to 30 seconds so this is one way to hold this asana another way you can keep your hands in front of you on the wall or on the chair and just give the same stretch make sure you keep your head up and looking up and then slowly release the position next three stretches i'm going to tell you in the sitting position so we need to sit another two stretches i'm going to tell you in the sitting position so what you need to do just bend both the leg and keeping one leg on other leg like this we call it kapotasana or pigeon pose variation and try to just walk inside and hold this position for a while feel the beautiful stretch on the sciatic nerve hold this position 10 to 15 seconds with normal breathing now slowly walk your foot forward and release this stretch same way other side you are going to keep the leg on other knee and hold and try to walk your leg little inside so you have a nice stretch hold this position 10 to 15 seconds with normal breathing deep breathing through the stretch feel your stretch once you are done release slowly and relax another stretch I'm going to tell you is Bhunaman Asan. It's very beautiful for your lumbar spine. So you breathe in in the center. As you breathe out, you twist back. Don't go fully down. Keep your head up. Inhale. Exhale. Other side. Inhale center. Exhale other side. Three. Inhale. Exhale four. Inhale exhale five inhale exhale six inhale exhale seven inhale exhale eight you will feel very nice stretch on your lower back if you do it and the ninth round you are going to hold for five to ten seconds normal breathing one two three four five six seven eight nine ten same way just hold 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Slowly come up, relax. To release the heaviness from your leg, just keep your hands by the side and just move your knees in this way to lighten your leg and increase the circulation from your leg. Another way. One more tip I will give you to stretch your calf muscles because calf muscles plays very important role in your sciatica pain. If you have a tight calf muscle, you will have lot of pain, even the hamstring muscle. So inhale, toes towards your face and feel the stretch on your calf. Exhale forward. Inhale up, hold five seconds. Exhale forward. Inhale inward exhale forward inhale inward hold and relax you can repeat four five times more if you feel good then just separate your leg one more stretch where you drop your toes inside and hold this position this gives you instant relaxation from sciatica pain hold one two three four five release once again hold one two three four five release once again hold one two three four five release so these are the stretches you can practice every day early morning just spending five to ten minutes will give you lot of relief entire day in your sciatica pain and if you practice these stretches every day for few days probably for one month or up to three months you will see the frequency of the pain is reducing. This is how you will reduce the frequency and one day you will find there is no sciatica pain. So try these stretches. And also I have posted a video about acupressure point for sciatica pain relief. So do try 
acupressure therapy along with this yoga therapy and you will see the miracle of this natural therapy healing your sciatica pain. And let me know in the comment box if you want me to put any other video on any other topic. Thank you everyone.